A number of years ago, I heard this guy south of the border talking a lot about making America great again. Now, I don't know if he achieved that dream, and being Canadian, it's none of my business anyway, and I'm far too polite to comment on that situation. But among the watch community, there are those who would like to make American watchmaking great again. One of those dreamers is Andrew Walden, CEO and designer of Walden International, an American micro brand established by his father in 1979 with a surprising heritage of Swiss watchmaking linked to many luxury brands throughout the latter part of the 20th century. After his father's death in 2018, Andrew shut down the business for two years in order to relaunch in 2020 with a focus on joining what he calls the reawakening of American watchmaking. Based out of New York, Andrew Walden desires to honor his father's legacy of Swiss craftsmanship paired with his father's American dream. And so Walden International has come out of the gate with two strong heritage lines that are modern in architecture, yet take strong cues from the past. Will Walden watches add their voice to the many watchmakers in America today struggling to find a reemergence of American watchmaking? That is yet to be seen. But the watch I want to show you today the Heritage Professional is a really strong piece produced at a budget that almost everyone can afford, and it's assembled in the USA containing an American-made movement. If this piques your interest, then stick around for the full details and specifications, as well as how to get 15% off of this watch. This is the Walden Heritage Professional. Well, let's dive right into the specifications. Here we have a 40 millimeter diameter, it's 46.7 millimeters lug to lug. It takes a 20 millimeter strap. It has sapphire crystal with AR coating underneath and a solid screw down case back with 50 meters of water resistance and a 5.3 millimeter signed crown, which is a simple push pull. Now, best of all, this thing has a five year warranty. I know that most of you prefer a mechanical movement and quite frankly, so do I most days. And Andrew tells me that the automatic movements are coming to Walden watches in the future, but Walden wanted to design something for their relaunch line that was both American affordable and high quality. Enter the AmeriQuartz 70200 movement. Now the caliber 70200 is an American made quartz movement which is hand assembled and tested in the US and it's also fully serviceable. Unlike cheap quartz watches, it also has jeweled bearings which minimize friction, resulting in a longer service and shelf life. It's also extremely thin, which is an asset for a watch like this. And unlike my Timex Weekender, which you can hear ticking across the room, it is nearly silent even when pressed against the ear. Now I spoke with Andrew about his choice of movement. I said, why not a simple Japanese mechanical movement for your first line of watches. And he explained that starting with quartz allowed us to reach a new younger community of consumers and create something for a very value deprived segment of the market. Adding the sub 500 price range is often saturated with generic and cheaply made fashion watches. And I wanted to introduce a product with some longevity to a market where products are mostly seen as disposable. He says, our watches are warrantied for five years and we offer after sales service in the US. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. And I think that's one of the things that really separates Walden International from the fashion watch choices out there. And if American watchmaking is going to reclaim its place among modern watchmaking, then I can see why accessibility, quality and longevity need to be an overriding philosophy. Now, let me tell you about the case. Here we're looking at 360L stainless steel with a wonderfully executed step design, which Andrew tells me comes from his father's archives. He says that the original Walden made cases had a double step design because they were meant to house movements without the use of an expansive spacer ring. The case is well polished everywhere on this version with fine brushing on the tops of the lugs. The lugs have a nice downward curve with architectural flares on the sides, also vintage inspired. A lot about this case says vintage dress watch. But the modern dimensions and the brushed lugs communicate casual everyday wear. I think in the end, this lends a versatility to the heritage professional. And at only 8.4 millimeters thick and 51 grams on the supplied leather strap, it wears exceptionally well. 
It is thin and light, but it doesn't come across as cheap like some other thin, light quartz watches in my collection. The screw down case back is nicely engraved with all pertinent information displayed proudly, boasting the company's name and their established date of 1979. The crown is a smaller 5.3 millimeters, but being a simple push pull quartz, it's easy enough to operate and you're not going to have to set it very often because it is extremely accurate. Let's talk about the dial which you can get in a number of great looking colorways. I was immediately drawn to the off-white because of the blue sub-seconds hand and the red text below it, alongside the green loom-filled markers around the black border of the dial. The 33 millimeter dial is very well executed with textured applied numbers all the way around, polished leaf hands, and a blue painted or heat blued seconds hand. At the time of filming, I've yet to hear back which. The text is nicely printed and the font is well chosen. I particularly appreciate the silver ring encircling the seconds hand and the way that it catches the light at every opportunity. It is this attention to detail that sets it apart from many similarly priced fashion brands. There's loom on the watch, but there might as well not be. While there are 12 loom pips encircling the dial, the hands are completely polished and thus they have no loom. I'm told that the Sportline models have loomed hands. So if you're a loom junkie, that's the one to go for. One thing you may have noticed immediately is that this watch does not have a traditional 60 minute chapter ring. Now this choice is not an oversight. Andrew explains that the heritage aesthetic is all about subtle minimalism with high quality details. So no minute track. Adding, I would have been more inclined to design the dial with a minute track had the seconds hand been centrally mounted. Now I personally have no issue with this choice. In fact, one of my favorite watches of all time doesn't have a traditional minute track either. And unless you really need to know time down to the second, this is all you really need day to day, especially on the weekend. Let me show off the strap, and then I'm going to add my picks and nitpicks before getting into the price. The strap is an Italian handmade genuine leather that tapers dramatically from 20 down to 15 millimeters, making it period appropriate and comfortable all at the same time. It has a polished buckle, the two keepers, one affixed and one free. I have to say, this is one of the nicer stock straps that I've come across at this price point, or even above. In fact, I don't even need to replace it. That's how nice it is. But I did. The watch sits really well on wrist. 40 millimeters is a fine size for my larger wrist, but I do find the strap a bit short. I think the strap would fit most comfortably on a 7.5 inch wrist and below. Well, let's get into the picks and the nitpicks. For my picks, I would say the strap, it's really nice. I love their use of color and their attention to detail, particularly the design on the lugs, the step case, and that sub seconds ring in silver. I love that it has an American movement and it's assembled in Arizona. And I think that's a real big selling point for this watch, especially if you're an American. And of course the five-year warranty. I think that's fantastic. Their dedication to making watches that are well thought out, well designed, and also durable and serviceable. I think that is admirable. Well, no watch is perfect. So I have a few nitpicks as well. I did notice that under extreme macro, there were a couple issues. The hands were just a little bit banged up and there were some smudges, particularly around the six. Honestly, you would absolutely never notice this unless you were taking very close up macros like I am. Under natural light, these imperfections are not visible and the hands really are a standout. The way they are polished is such a nice finish. There's no chapter ring and I think that's going to be a big downside for some of you. For me personally, as I've said, it's not an issue, but I wanted to mention it. I really do think that the Walden New York font could be bigger. They should be proud of this logo. It's got heritage and history behind it. It's a family name. And I know some people don't like having someone else's name on their watch, but I really do think that aesthetically anyway, it would look better if they just simply enlarged it just a little bit. And I would say the same thing about the numbers. I think they could be a little bit, maybe 15% bigger as well, and maybe just push them a little bit towards the center of the dial. And it needs a longer strap. I could probably say that about every watch I review having an eight and a half inch wrist, but what can I say? In summary, this is a really well-made watch with some good heritage and a great brand philosophy. Andrew tells me that they're in early stages to bring an American-made automatic movement to their lineup in the future. And I really can't wait to see that and whatever else is in store for Walden watches. Now, if you like this watch, you can find it 
on their website for 299 US dollars. But right on the front page, you'll see that there is a link to 15% off. All you have to do is be a first time purchaser to get that. And since this is a new watch, you're probably going to be a first time purchaser. I also did see 20% coupons floating around on the, on the internet, but right now I don't think they're active, but keep your eye on it because that will bring this price down at 15% off down to $255, which I think is a very, very good value for what you're getting here. Can you buy something cheaper with similar specs? Well, I don't know, because often we're not seeing this movement in particular with this kind of warranty offered. So I really do think this is a unique offering. Is it quartz? Yes. Is it going to be accurate? Yes. Is that sub seconds obtrusive? No, I really do think that this is a watch worth considering if you like the design and if you don't mind not knowing the seconds down to the second. And if you don't see this watch making its way into your personal collection, I suggest that you keep your eye on Walden International because I expect good things from them as they join other American watchmakers on a mission to make American watchmaking great again.